with the release of the Aurora Shores map theoretically just a couple days away, I thought why not come back out here to Nezper's Valley in Way the Hunter and continue looking for 5 stars for our trophy lodge. Now, I say theoretically because we've had no confirmation that the tentative February 23rd release date listed in the trailer description for Aurora Shores is going to be confirmed. But with nothing to the contrary, I can only assume we're just a few days from getting the hunt out on Alaska, and in the meantime while we wait, why not keep looking for trophies here? And the plan for today is to kind of continue what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks, and working our way across the map to some of the question marks that we've not yet visited. I like doing that for a number of reasons. They naturally just take you through areas you've not been to. Very often, they lead to hunting towers, and those are generally placed in good spots. But what I think is maybe most intriguing about it today is if we zoom out on the map here, unless I'm missing some, there are four left, kind of all on the west side, and we are at a point where one more echo location will unlock the perk that gets you 20% further hearing. So if we go to, I believe it is this right here, the Idaho collectibles, once you've gotten all seven of the echo locations, you get the animals audible at 20% greater distance. Now. What I still don't know is if that's going to transfer to Aurora Shores at all. I don't know if any of the player skills, the money you earn, or any of that will matter. But even still, as I said, we'll be coming back here, so worth doing now. As for our buck, just a one-star mature, an area that we pretty often go through. And we've never really had anything big, but I imagine at some stage if we keep this up, it will pay off. 38% as a one-star mature, though. And you can see it's almost 7 o'clock, so we are going to try to make it down to this one. It's almost a mile away, but even if we mostly run that and then just rest back to morning for the other three, it shouldn't take too terribly long to make our way through, and in theory, one of them has got to be that last echo point we need. And not a half bad deal. We are just 300 yards from the question mark we're heading to, and we've got our little whitetail right out here across the creek. There is a one-star adult. I don't see anything better, and we might as well go ahead and try to take that out. We do have a 5 star whitetail now, but frankly it doesn't matter if we have 1 or 20, as a much better one came out of there. I'm going to continue to target whitetail and try to get as many as I can. I think they look really good. I would love to know what that better buck was, but it's tough to tell. I mean, there's another 1 star adult. I just never got my eyes on it. It wasn't a 5 star or anything, but maybe one that's going to help that herd out. This is the worst spot I've ever seen an animal drop in Way the Hunter. If not for the claim animal text coming up, I'd have walked right past it. But we lung shot him at 158 yards. A 67%. Actually, that's not bad. Fairly encouraging for that other decent buck we saw. And then actually, as I mentioned, often the towers are in decent spots. That is the question mark we were headed to. And the deer were just feeding it right over here. So another one of those areas that if you're in the tower before the animals get to their zone, you're in the perfect location. That discovers that, and we are at about 7.30, so we'll rest and head out from there. And so we move from Whitetail in the lowlands of Nez Perce Valley to the mountains where we're bound to run into Elk, hopefully Bighorn, and Mountain Goat, and maybe even Mule Deer. Now, we've got a two-star Mature there. The one problem is going to be maybe getting him to turn around, but if we can just go with a high fitness call, I bet that gets it. I mean, it almost has to be the case that he's over 50%, and I think he is on his way in now, because we've got a one-star mature too, and I actually hadn't seen that. We're probably best off taking that one, so bit of a weird angle being way up high like this. So maybe I'm almost tempted to kind of keep that to the side. I'd be afraid going for a hard shot that we don't get all the way down to the heart, so going for a definite lung hit I think is going to be fine, and I don't imagine he's going to be getting too terribly far. And he even pretty much ran the path we need to take to get to the next question mark. But a left lung shot at 152, that's pretty much what we were trying to go for there to avoid all the extra flesh we had to go through to get to the heart. And a 32%. So I don't actually know why he came into that call. I have seen female animals respond to a call meant for male animals just kind of briefly and then they turn back around. So it may have only been that. But I mentioned this whole process of trying to go to all the question mark points and explore all those has been 
kind of a long gameplay. It's been over the course of several weeks in both videos and streams, and that was the goal in our most recent stream. And the whole concept of exploring new territory and finding new animals really, really paid off. It's a mountain goat. Somewhere. Man, I hate when this happens. There it is. So this will be interesting. They're kind of heading down to there. We're going to have to loop up and around because the way the wind is, if we sneak straight down, we're going to spook them. So we either got to get up here high enough to see past those trees or like over to here. Oh, hi. Um, actually, since there's no shot angle anyway, let's check on the rest of these. One star, because this one looks big. You're telling me that's a one star adult? Okay, I don't know what the difference is, but we can just kind of... Angle's weird, I don't know if I like it. I'm going to like slowly move. I want him a little more broadside, or standing still, like that's still. Nice. That's really not the best photo. One day if we can move the animals for these things, that'd be great. So let's see. We right lung shot it. Not too bad considering the angle 134 yards away. I'm so glad we snuck up there. Like the just in case of that really worked out here 92 percent so what's the uh total 468 i think they are the same as most species and 460 flat is a uh, five star for them probably makes them our best though and i think it was in the last video i talked about just how much i enjoyed the mountain hunting in this game i really don't think any game has done it quite like way the hunter has and to get a 5 star goat like that, using some of those same principles of getting out in front of the herd and trying to stalk into location rather than following them. But then the big thing was the unknown factor. We had never been up there, didn't know what was in that herd, and just the patience to kind of wait it out. And for there to be a 5 star there was just really, really cool. In the meantime, we've got a campsite here. I thought we had discovered them all, so good to know there's one here as well. And there is a herd of elk up there. I'm not sure if it's the same herd. I don't think it would be. They're kind of spread out, making it tough to tell, though. Without being able to really spot around, I don't see any giant antlers, so I'm going to guess this one-star mature would be a good one to take. And we're probably just going to have to sit here and wait till he steps out. I don't want to try to call them in because I think that's going to take longer than just waiting for him to cover a little bit of ground. But it's kind of going to be on his terms. It's probably risky, but that's about as good a shot window as I see. So we're going to zero for 219 and actually aim a little bit high. It hit him. So I'm going to assume that got along. It certainly looks like a solid hit, but that's a bit of an odd one. And it's honestly such a relief compared to using the 350. And I don't dislike the 350, but we used that in the last hunt. And several times we went for really not even that marginal shots and ended up with less than ideal hits. It's really nice with the 300. As long as the shot gets through the brush, we know it's going to take him down. And even this, it was lung and liver. He went like 50 yards. It was a 64%, still a one-star mature. I would have guessed he'd be at least two, but even still, got 600 credits for that. And we are now down to, I think, just the one or two question marks left. It may just be the one. And it's right up there in Bighorn and Mountain Goat territory, which is pretty much perfect for where we want to go. Now, unfortunately, to get to that last question mark, we did have to fast travel to this cabin because to get to where we were trying to go to, we would have had this whole mountain in front of us. So fast traveling around, that really doesn't look like an echo spot, so there may be one more I'm missing. But even still, we've got a herd of bighorn out here, including a two-star mature. So I guess we'll go ahead and take that. There's a one-star adult back there that looks decent, but about 240 away. Try to get that with the 30 odd six while he's broadside, because they were kind of on the move. That I would say will do. And as we are headed around, we had a four star bighorn. I believe it was in that last video. And by the time of our stream, it had aged to a five star. And I was determined to let it go and see if it would get even bigger. But after a little convincing in the chat, I decided to go ahead and take the shot. So there's this five star bighorn here. 
and I found it last night. And he's like not gray yet. And I can't decide if I ought to let him go a little bit further. Like I think there's room for him to age and get even bigger. But I don't know if he's got the the big five star horns. I don't know if you guys would be able to identify it just at that. But then like there's this dude too. A three star adult. So like there's really quality genetics here. And it probably can't hurt to let him around even longer. But I want to see what else is here and try to help manage the herd. Because I haven't even... I didn't even look. I just saw that guy. You'd shoot that so hard. Do you think it's like the big, big horns? Now you guys are convincing me. I had no intentions to shoot this. Smoke it? Alright. I will. Bop it in the head. I'm not going to do that. Literally the one right beside him. So if that one gets stuck, we'll kill that too for the sake of genetics. That's pink blood. In the off chance he gives me a shot, but I don't think he's going to. That is our five star. Mark that blood right there. All right. So we shot him through the back of the lung. He's got it done a little bit better. But it brought him down good and quick with the 30 odd six. 91%. So he's not as high percentage as I thought. That still looks like the big horns to me. What's he end up at? 478. I bet it is. I think you guys are right. I'll give you credit for that. Because I was going to let him go and he might have died. I'd love it. And I don't know why they don't. I'd love if they actually had on here the age of them. Like not just mature. Like the age in years. It would just help so much with. Being able to learn. You know when to shoot stuff. And, and all that. Uh, I do not want to use this for a mission. It's fine. And maybe now. With an update looming. Might be the best time to actually consider adding something like that, having the age in years actually in the harvest screen. I just think it'd be really nice to actually know how close to maximum age those animals are. But as for this big horn, not quite as big as the five star. A two star mature still, I guess, is decent. We ended up with the double lung shot there. 53% is solid enough. And there actually is one other question mark. It's kind of hidden up here, but if we scroll out, it's right behind the lookout, so I must have just missed it whenever unlocking this in the past. But let's, for now, go to this one and see what else we can find over there in the process. Now, I will say, this particular hunting stand maybe isn't in the best of locations. I actually don't understand the point of it. Unless there's maybe something you could call in. You can kind of see up this hillside, but maybe not the best spot. But that does mean, unsurprisingly... The one in the north should be where we're headed. There is no way. We've got another five-star bighorn down here. There was one way out there that I marked. And I was trying to go out and around. But I don't know where they're going. Maybe to like a drink zone. Because it is just beginning to reach like bighorn, deer, goat drink time. Gotta figure out where he's at and find a gap to get a shot through. I think that's him there. If he'll just stand there for just a minute, that is a pretty doable shot before he takes another step. Pink foot and all, this is ridiculous. The amount of monster bighorn that are on this map all of a sudden is insane. We did have fairly quality bighorn genetics. There was a three-star adult, honestly, I don't even remember where, that we found not long after doing the bighorn mission where we shot the black bighorn. There was then a 96% four-star that we shot by accident, thinking it was a much smaller one. And then the recent five-stars that we've had, and just throw this guy into the mix. I'm really glad he stopped right there where we did, because I just don't know. If he got further down this path, might have been tough to get a shot, but looks like he started in this direction and then looped back around. Bit of a panic there for a second, too. He kind of ran in a weird way. And I lost the tracks to the point that I was starting to wonder if something had happened, but their lays are, I think, third five-star bighorn in the last, like, three days. Getting pretty absurd, but this might be the best kind of photo opportunity that we'll get. Someday I really hope they make it to where you can actually move the animal. We do need to get the claim animal thing to go away. Otherwise, there'll be a white outline from it highlighting it, but, I mean, that's not too bad definitely have had far worse and then let's see another five-star bighorn which we were definitely far back he was taking a step as we fired that shot but 
again, trusting some of these weapons, the 30-06 has been so good lately. Ended up with a lung, somehow completely missed the liver, stomach and intestine shot. I mean, we're lucky it brought him down, but managed to do the job. 96%, which makes him potentially our biggest. The total score is 491. There's no way. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm so glad we came back out here to nest first. Let's make sure we do the correct thing here. Tax that and not sell it. I literally, in that clip from the stream, I mentioned wanting the, like, bigger horns for a 5-star bighorn. I don't know 100% that 478 is. I can promise 491 is. And we've even maybe got some mountain goat to keep an eye on. So one star adult there that may be worth taking. We've got that four star. And there was another two star adult, I thought. Might have been that one down there it is. So let's maybe see then. It's the top one there at 290. If we can go ahead and take that and maybe benefit this herd too. Going to be kind of easy to locate just considering the proximity to these question marks. So that is one of my favorite animations. Pink Blood again. Really nice having... Again, just these weapons that we can actually trust. And you know what? This isn't going to be the spot either. I thought we got this hunting stand already. I remember going through here. I guess we just didn't quite get close enough to it. So we've got a mountain goat to go and find. And then, I guess somewhere on here is a hidden question mark? As for the goat, it actually ended up covering a lot more ground than I thought, which would imply a less than ideal hit. And actually... We are way too high. It was the artery that runs along the spine, and I guess technically the expansion damage of the bullet would have got the lung enough to be a kill shot, but 71% once our adult worth taking out. And I guess we might as well move to the final stream highlight, because clearly we are not done. We have one more question mark to find, and I don't actually know where it is on the map at the moment, but before we wrapped up that stream, I decided to fast travel, and we ended up encountering something that I really didn't know much about, known as the fast travel bug, which moves animals from where you just fast traveled from to where you arrive at. In this case, it moves something pretty special and made for quite a tense moment. What's that? Oh, some... There's a big horn here. Is that what that was? Sure was. I didn't know they were in this area. What the heck? Another five star. Can we get a shot at that? Because they're just, like, leaving. And they're acting really funny. Like they're eating and trotting. Why are they doing that? How are we gonna... I honestly have no clue how we're supposed to get over there. Because look at this. And of course, today is like the one day I can't extend the stream. You got the fast travel bug, pulls animals from your last place you came from. Oh, is that what that was? So are they just gonna like take off? Oh. I think they're right here. No way. Is he in here? right there oh my god how do we get this lucky don't want to hit the brush that might not be a, a small five star i think we can get that shot through there i really want to confirm that's it before i just pull the trigger though because it could be like a big four. Oh god <laughs> that's not it <laughs> so where is he Okay, they're down there. There he is. I'm gonna... This, that has to be him. Where are we gonna get a shot through? Probably out here. Just slowly feed through. We want the shot right here, away from the branches. I think we smoked him. I can't believe it. I really hope that's it, because the last one we spot sure looked to be it. <laughs> Use your drone. 
Get out of here. <laughs> Ooh. That got my heart racing. Especially once you, uh, and you're definitely right, the fast travel bug? I wouldn't have known where to go back to look for them. Where's he at? Oh, he's laying right there. Cool. That was absurd. That was actually absurd. That looks pretty good. Might be bigger than the last. Oh, nice. Nice ferns. <laughs> I can never get a perfect trophy shot. All right. What do we got? Double lunged him at 161. 90%. And 473. They're almost the exact same size. That was insane. And you may have heard that as we shot the 491 Bighorn, I said it was the third one in just the last couple days. There were two there in a matter of like 20 minutes on that stream. And for the fast travel bug to end up occurring there, I didn't even know what was going on. They were doing that weird animation kind of run feeding as they went along. But then we managed to get into position, make that shot. And we've got three five-star Bighorn and a five-star Mountain Goat to add to our trophy lodge. But before we do that, We've got to solve the mystery of the missing echo point. Well, thank goodness for the UTV, or that would have taken forever. I also never located it on the map, I just recognized the thing. So this will be it. So I wonder if those play in order, or if they're dependent on the location you go, because there's like a chronological order they should play in. I mean, I'm guessing that's the way that that works, but that should at least have unlocked the thing that we're after here. And it at least says that we do have that perk unlocked. So that's what we're looking to do. And I guess at this stage, we can head back to the trophy lodge. All this time, I've been all over this mountain. Just never took this particular road, and I guess we never got close enough for the question mark to appear. And so now we've got quite an array of mountain five stars to go over here in the trophy lodge. Our newest five star mountain coat, which is kind of got the same thing as the first one we shot. Sort of an uneven set of horns. One that sort of curls back and one that's a little bit more straight. The other one that we shot months back Sort of has that same type of thing. I think it might be a little bit bigger, but it's also a bit more obviously uneven. Then we have one of the five-star Bighorn. At this stage, I actually don't know which is which. The only thing I'm certain of is this guy over here is the 491. And I actually do think he's kind of obviously the biggest. So maybe he does have the biggest of the five-star Bighorns that are possible. But pretty cool to add that. I decided to put him here because you're kind of limited on options due to the ceiling coming down. And then, of course, we have the other 5-star. This was the 478, just added to our multi-mount. So, pretty cool to get all these 5-stars in the mountains. And we shall see as well if earning the perk for getting 20% further hearing distance is going to help us on Aurora Shores or not. But I think on that note, with all kinds of 5-stars being added to our trophy lodge, that is going to do it for this video. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.